In this video, I have created a Dragapult budget-friendly deck and Dragapult is easily available in the new Cardivore V theme deck that is available. And let's look at the deck profile that I have created with this Cardivore V deck or only using Dragapult from the deck. So two of our Snow Lacks with Gormand Diesability, four DP, two of our the Dracovo, 4 Dragapult, 1 Mew, 1 Mewtwo, 1 Mimikyu. This was to shut down the ability of many of Jirachi so that we can uh, like uh, and Mewtwo so that I can shut down the ability of Mewtwo and Jirachi if they have any damage counters on them and this played a major role in our last match, this was again Rapid Strike Urshifu, sorry, Single Strike Urshifu. So, I have got 4 Hammers, 4 Great Ball, 1 Ordinary Rod, 4 Quick Ball, 4 Rare Candy, 4 Scoop of Net, 3 Boss, 3 Marni, 2 Professor's Research, 3 Rosa, 2 Yelgrunt, 2 Experience Share, 4 Horror Psychic and 5 Normal Energy. Rosa will be little glossy. It uh, like per card it takes at least three, three like battle styles back three to four. Yelgrunt is easily available. Boss is easily available. Marni and so this is a budget friendly deck. Also Mimikyu also takes three two to three of the battle styles cards. So let's look at the some of the matches that I had and the first match was a really long match but in the end we got the dub. So let's look at the match. So in the first match I was going second and I got most of my Dreepy on the bench and I have got Snorlax with Gormand Disability in the active position. So let's go. And this is, we are going up against a Luke Metal deck. This was a really fun but long matchup. This was really a long matchup. So just bear with me and watch the whole video because this is a really good matchup. And you can find a lot of like information from this matchup. You will be able to understand a lot of stuff. So we are in a good position have got all the dreepy and let's see from that great ball I got Drakloak so let's just bench the Drakloak and let's just use Snorlax's Gormandize ability and with that I grab myself Hammer, Drakloak and Mimikyu but we don't require Mimikyu in this matchup but Mimikyu was really good against single strike or shifu matchup it was the last match i played also it was it could have played a part in this like the next matchup which i played against and this was a really long match he was taking a long time so he's gonna pokecom away the bronzor and what he's gonna grab from that let's see he's gonna grab himself zamazenta so he's filling his bench with Sashi and his Amazenta and he's gonna Marni us again. This is like the second Marni he's using. And or it felt like second Marni. Yeah. Second Marni he's using. Like was this was crazy. Really, really. And let's just use the crushing hammer to discard his energy. And Let's just so with great ball we grab ourselves Mewtwo so nothing good coming from that play. So what should we do? Discarding the rare candy was not a good play, but I was like thinking about just doing stuff because this was a really long matchup, so I was getting bored. So I'm going to use Gormandai's ability to draw me 7 cards and with that I have got myself Dragapult and also 2, two Dragapult so we are in a commanding position with that so he's gonna switch so this is good for us because we don't play 
any switch cards normally in our deck so i'm giving him a happy emoji for that particular reason and so let's just attach to the dragger port in the active position and let's just use red candy on our bench dragger port and let's just use phantom force and let's just put damage on that zation so let's see what our opponent game plan is because he has got loop metal and he has still not used his gx attack so let's see what the opponent is gonna do what you're gonna do opponent what you're gonna do what you're gonna do what you're gonna do what you gonna do what you gonna do this dragapult is really good because it has got infiltrate infiltrator ability and which utilizes that if your opponent if like uh, your opponent wants to attack he has to flip a coin and if the coin is heads then attack will be null void so it is a good like really good ability to have and he does full metal wall gx so really bad part bad on our part but we have got energy plus like we have got free retreat with the drag up also that is good for us so i'm just gonna i'm doing only 40 damage and i'm going to do 80 damage to the benched zacian and he discards his Amazenta. So Amazenta. And he's gonna attach metal goggles to his both his Asians. Let's see. Let's see. So just look at it. We flip a coin. If it is heads, he won't be able to attack. So really good for us. And we are not drawing any good supporters right now. So let's just use and put damage on that session because if you metal goggles null voids any damage that is done so because i have made a mistake a lot of times when i'm playing the eternatus vmax deck which is my favorite deck and i use zigzagoon on loop metal and it doesn't work so it was good for us because we weren't drawing any good cards so marni is really good so with that we have got ourselves drag up drag a woe the cloak sorry drag cloak I never remember the name of the second evolution because first and third are the most used and with that he just does 50 damage to us and he's gonna attach energy to himself okay so let's just attach the horror psychic to that one Let's just evolve into the croak and let's just let's just Marnie then because okay so we got experience share so that is good for us let's just attach the experience share to that the cloak and use phantom force I'm gonna do 40 damage and I'm going to target the Zamazenta because he has already attached his 4 metal goggles and he does you can't play 5 metal goggles so we are in a good condition so he's going to use tool scrapper and he throws away our experience discards away our experience share and he's got Sinland so he discards the bronze zone okay he's got mellow and lana okay 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 so heads he doesn't do any damage to us so i just attached to the dragon pole second dragon pole and let's just use phantom force and let's just do 30 damage to zamazenta get in a good position even though he has taken one prize card, we are still doing really good. This was a really long matchup. 
and it was really fun to play and it showcases what the deck can do i was getting really lucky with playing with this deck so i'm just gonna marni because so i grab myself horror psych psychic horror energy and i'm just gonna attach to that Trag a post and I'm going to do 40 damage. This was a slow matchup, but it showcases the strength of this deck. We are doing only 40 damage, but that's okay. And he was using the wrong bronze zone. Because I think like he was using bronze zone for heat proof ability, which is the ability where like I think fire damage is reduce or something like that so it's gonna use the elegant throw with that energy and let's just see what great ball give us so we grab ourselves drag a bolt if we had drag rare candy then we could have easily done like 40 damage like evolved into our drag a bolt sorry we are i am doing 40 damage so what you gonna do what you gonna do so he does heavy impact and again heads so we are safe so i'm just gonna use the hammer but hammer doesn't help us so i'm just gonna use this and let's just use phantom force and i do 30 damage to the samazenta and let's see let's see i think he's gonna knock us out this turn with his what is it called whatever attack he has with 150 so he discards his boss and everything i don't know what he's doing he has got only nine cards in his hand so brave blade eliminates us okay so not a bad play on our opponent's part if we have if i had ordinary rod then i had rod rodded my thing so I got experience share. So I'm gonna enjoy the experience share. And just gonna grab myself rare candy and one energy. We only play nine energy, so this was really bad for us initially. So I'm just gonna rare candy ball into that track uh drag a pole. and I'm gonna just gonna wait evolve so i'm just going to use phantom force and i'm going to do 60 damage to this one because loop metal has resistant to psychic so we were doing less damage to it and with this and we are doing 60 damage so that's just half the damage of the gx attacks like lowers 30 damage plus now he has got that metal goggle so he has got 30 less damage so he's gonna eliminate us the next turn and he uses Mallow and Lana but he's gonna eliminate us so he's gonna knocked out get knocked out by the what is this called the horror cycle energy so he gets knocked out so at least we grab ourselves three prize cards from that and we grab ourselves crushing hammer two of those and one rosa okay i'm just gonna promote that i don't know why e exp share not activated it should have activated in my response Rod is the better play here, I think. But boss is also good. So we are going to do 60 damage to this Saishian and 30 damage to that Zamazenta. So that Zamazenta is getting in the range of getting KO'd if he doesn't use any Mallow and Lana. So with that i got tails so this was a really long wait so let's just 
skip this part and during this part I grab myself rod and got myself all the energies and I put down the drippy and and let's just look at this where I have dragapult with two energies and and I damage do 30 damage to the Zacian but it doesn't matter so I have got one horror psychic energy and one boss's order so I'm just gonna win this next next matchup I suppose so I get tails so he eliminates one of our dragapult but we got still one energy left so let's see horror psychic I attach and let's just pass up let it pass because we can't do anything so let's just boss up that Zacian so he won't be able to do attack us the next time around because I don't think he has got Mallow and Lana and he has at one energy he attaches to the Zacian but I got the boss and let's see what he's going to do what she gonna do so with that I grab myself one boss after benching the Me Too or Marnie so i'm just gonna pass and let's see let's see let's see let's see what's he gonna do what's so with that i get the dub the second match we are going up against the center scratch deck and i had a mulligan so our opponent has got his bench set up with null type null and fion center scratch vulcanian in his active position and I've got Gormandai Stone Lag, so I'm just gonna use heads and I'm just gonna put down the Mew. Gonna use the Scoop Up Net because I want to grab more cards from that. What is it called? I'm just gonna use the boss as well on the center scorch. I should have. Use Fion. I should have bossed up the Fion because Fion, the active position, can't use the ability, but that's okay. So, no sign of Dreepy or Dragapult anywhere. But we got ourselves Horror Psychic Energy in our hand. So, he's gonna attach to the Balkany and he's gonna use Flare Starter. Okay, okay. Attach one energy to that thing. Tails, okay, okay. So I'm just gonna Marnie away my hand because I don't, I haven't got the tree P that I required. The start that I had in the last match was really good. So I grab myself two tree P. So this is good for us. I'm just gonna attach one energy and just gonna use the hammer and I'm going to discard that energy. And I'm just gonna Gorman dice. So I Gorman dice for six cards. So let's see. I got Dracozolt. So I'm just gonna give him the Mew, which is the best play right now. So the second evolution is Dracloak. I always forget that it is Dracloak. Dracloak. Because the most important are the first and last evolution, which is GP and Dragapult, that mostly people know. So I forget about the cloak. So he build us to the what is it called? I had the cloak in my hand, two of them, and now he researched champion. I got one the cloak. So really bad play on our opponent's part. Let's see what we do. He's got Senti Scorch. Okay, okay. Senti Scorch, Senti, Senti. Really Senti, really Senti. Really Senti. So, with this preload, he grabs himself five cards. Okay, okay, okay. He attaches to Senti. This was a daily, like, I was, I had a really enjoyable time playing this Dragapult deck and you should try it out for yourself as well. Really, really enjoyable time. I'm just gonna promote the Snorlax. 
attach horror psychic to that drippy evolve the into the cloak and bench the mimic you because i can shut down that silvali's ability if i do damage to it so with that we don't grab ourselves any drug cloak or anything drug cloak or dragapult but from gorman dies i got myself one drippy and dragapult so we'll be able to attack next turn so that is good for us really good for us what you gonna do so you attaches to the heat ran okay okay so fion so with fion i'm just gonna give him the mimic you because why not man i don't want to throw away my dp or the cloak so let's see what the opponent is going to do he's gonna use gmax in inferno okay okay I think with Gmax Inferno you can attach fire energy. I don't think he has got basic fire energy in his deck. So I just promote the Dreepy which had sort of psychic energy. I'm going to grab myself probably Dragapult, Rare Candy and Normal Energy. Crushing Hammer, okay Crushing Hammer is better. And one normal EXP share, yeah, EXP share is better. So, just add the EXP share to my 3P. Put 3 damage counters on our heat run. We are doing good in this matchup. Let's see what the opponent does. He's attaching to that heat tran GX because this is a heat energy, it increases the HP to 20 more. So let's see what he's going to do. What you gonna do? What you gonna do, dude? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? We have got Dragapult, so he's gonna pass up the Dreepy. Okay. So he's not gonna let the GP evolve, okay. Good play on our opponent's part, but I'm still a little sour because of that. So I'm just gonna use Rosa to wear myself GP. And I've got only one GP, Ordinary Rod, and because I have energy at hand, so I'm just not gonna do. So he has used one boss, and I'm just gonna shuffle Mimikyu and GP back into our deck because I can use Mimikyu's ability, and I do 120 damage to that. Sent his scorch V max and 30 damage. I put three damage counters on our. What you may call it, Heat Run GX, and he uses Disk Reload. Okay, so I get heads, so I'm safe this turn with the Infiltrator ability. So I'm going to put down two Dreepy, gonna attach to this Dreepy or a Psychic Max Phantasm and with that I do 30 damage to the Silvali because I'm thinking if I get Mimikyu then I can stop its ability so I get 3 prize cards Mewtwo, Marni and Scoop Up Net. So it's good for us and Vulcanian he promotes Vulcanian is he going to do play a starter what he's going to do. So he attaches to the Sinti Scorch VMAX okay at an equal price trade we are at equal price cards he has got three i have got three and let's see what he's going to do so he switches to heatran gx and let's see what he's going to do he uses disc reload okay discards the Giant heart grab himself two fire energy. Okay. 
is uses hotburn gx but then filtrator ability we are able to so i just scoop up the snow lags because i was thinking that it shouldn't like like eliminate our snow lags next turn around so that was my thinking and money i got myself hammer as well as truck cloak so tails hammers never hit so i do 120 damage and is going to put three damage counters on that sil molly let's see what he's going to do what you're going to do my friend what you're going to do 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 you build us to the center scorch okay are you going to oh he switches to Send a scorch and use a disc reload to craft himself one energy. Okay, okay. G Mac. So we are doing good. We have got a lot of heads in our hand. So I can eliminate. I put all damage counters because hot burn energy provides like 20 more HP. So Got experience, share, great ball, quick ball. So I'm in rocking. So I can just boss up anything and I can win the next turn. So I'm just gonna boss up the Vulcanian and gonna take the dub. That was my thinking. So let's just boss up the Vulcanian. Let's just use Mac Force and let's get the victory. So let's just put damage counter on that Silvali. It doesn't matter. So let's look at the third matchup. So in the third matchup, I have got Mew in the active position and our opponent decided to go first. And I was thinking of doing damage to our Jir to the Jirachi because I can stop its ability and because if it's in like on the bench then our then what is the then it stops any like it stops the psychic weakness so that's why i put miku in my what is it called deck so that i can combat against a single strike rapid striker shifu as well as mu2 and mu gx because miku's ability is really good against all these three decks and these decks are really played a lot in the current standard meta so he's gonna research away his hand and let's see he could have bossed the mimic you okay so he grabs himself escape rope and i didn't have anything else so this was a really slow matchup initially and let's just jump to the part where i got the dragapult i got dreepy so I'm just gonna promote the Mew. Gonna boss up the Jirachi. Gonna do new Psy power and damage. Put damage on that Shifu because I have got use a ordinary dot to grab myself the Mimikyu back after after elimination. So I'm going to. He's gonna evolve into Hound Doom, and let's see what he's going to do. He captures energy and he another Hound Dower, and he evolves into Hound Doom. Let's see what's he gonna do. He's gonna pass up the Mimic U. Okay, so he eliminates the Mimic U. So I'm just gonna promote. I'm just gonna evolve into Dragapult. let's see let's see so i'm just gonna retreat into dragapults because infiltrator ability is really good let's see what he's going to do what you're gonna do he throw 
discards the Sun Jenner quick ball away the Hum Dower. He grabs himself single striker Shifu. So I'm just waiting for the ordinary Todd to grab the Mimikyu back because Mimikyu is really good in this matchup. Because I need to stop Jirachi's ability. So he does beat down and he doesn't note that we have got Psych fighting type resistance. And I'm just gonna pass because we are not getting any good stuff right now. So let's see, let's see what he's going to do. He has already discarded Loft of his cards. And we have got Dragapult. The active position he's gonna do beat down, but with heads I save myself. So I've got bosses order, so I was thinking of bossing up something in order to waste time. So I'm just gonna boss up that Hound Doom because he can't attach energy to himself because he has already attached two energy to that single striker Shifu and two of that energy to single striker Shifu V Max. So he can't use the single strike roar to attach energy to himself. So that was my thinking. So he discards his urn of vitality and he evolves into Hound Doom. So he's discarding even more resources with Professor's research. If we could have moneyed us, then we were in a good position, but he knows that we are not in a good position. So he uses Fion and with that he's gonna come into the active position i suppose so still not in the active position another hound dower okay he's gonna dead any of his hand he has got only eight cards in his hand so he has got air balloon okay let's see what you're going to do what you're gonna do my friend what you're gonna do he uses beat down, so he. Okay, okay. So I just discard most of my resources. So this hammer should hit, but this hammer gives us tails, heads, so I'm just gonna discard this single strike energy. Another single strike energy I discard in that fashion just gonna quick ball over the boss and just gonna grab myself more lax because finally we can set up our things just gonna retreat into the snow lax and gonna garmentize for five more cards so I have got ordinary rod I've got energy so I have got rosas and rosas so really good for us and he discarding even more resources so with turn of vitality he grabs himself single strike energy and now he's gonna single strike roar attached to what, what you may call it single striker shifu and this was a really good matchup and mimikyu played a good part you will see how mimikyu played a good part and also I have created a single striker Shifu deck that you should try out for yourself. It's a really good budget friendly deck. It doesn't have Jirachi but it's a good deck. Also I have created a single strike Stone Journal deck which is a budget friendly deck. Because it uses single strike Pokemon and single price pokemon single strike and single price so that's good for us so i'm just gonna bench the mimikyu dread gp where candy and energy because i was thinking that i can deal with him next time around so let's just pass our turn. I did want it to grab myself Mimikyu because Mimikyu is really good in this matchup. So I'm just gonna quick ball away 
I should have attached to that what you may call it to the dragapult in the active position, but that's good enough for us. So I'm just gonna use the hammer and I don't think it's gonna work for us. Okay, it worked for us, okay. So we're just gonna mench the dreepy and I'm just gonna pass. I should have attached to dragapult in the active position, but Hey, everyone make mistakes. Everybody has those days, so. Heads and we are cruising through. Dinner is gonna attach to that. Active, just gonna put the boss back in our deck because I can use boss for the next turn around. So I grab myself truck cloak. So I'm just gonna evolve into truck cloak. And with this, I grab myself Mimic You, which was really good in this matchup. So I grab myself second Rock Cloak, so really good. And with that Phantom Force ability, I do. I take it to 300 damage and do 30 damage to that other benched Arshifu. Because now, with Mimikyu and Bench, the Psychic Weakness has been brought back, so we are in a good position. So, I'm just gonna attach to that Dreep, Drug Cloak. Just gonna evolve that Drug Cloak. Just gonna use our boss up that our Shifu, so just gonna use Phantom Force and do damage to that Bench. Arshifu as well to knock it out and I'm closer to knocking this Arshifu as well and let's just take three prize cards so after a slow slot we did good so let's see what the opponent is going to do okay beat down heads so this was a really good matchup we were able to so he gives us the dub and so this is a really budget friendly deck that you should try it out for yourself because Dragapult is easily available in what uh, this Gardevoir V deck, theme deck that has come out and also it is available in old Rebel, Cla Rebel Clash as well as what is it called as well as the Shining Fates. So that's why I had Shiny Dragapult. So, please like and subscribe and share your videos. Share the video with your friends and family members. And please post any comments that you have down below. And I will see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching.